Hello friends, hope you have enjoyed the previous video. Myself Rajesh Bhair and in this particular video we are going to see one important feature, again an important feature which have been introduced by Google Classroom and that is Google Input Tool. The better thing regarding this tool is that you just don't need to have a Gmail account. That means in up till now we have seen that various Google tools needs to have something and that is a Gmail account. But for this tool you just don't need to have a Gmail account. So without Gmail account also you can use this feature provided by Google. Another very important thing if you have noticed in this presentation whatever I have made I have purposefully written my name in Marathi. In previous videos if you have seen if you have noticed I have written the name in English but generally in this particular video I, I have I have in this presentation I have written that name in Marathi. Okay the reason for that is we are going to learn a tool and that is a Google input tool. Prior learning this particular tool what I am trying to say that typing is the simplest way to provide input to the computer. Of course we can provide input to the computer by using different ways. By using mouse also will provide an input. By using mic also we can provide an input but most commonly used input tool is something and that is a keyboard. And obviously most of us are habituated or most of us are easily performing the typing. That means those who have a computer they are definitely doing the typing by using English language. The reason is a bit simple because English is the simplest language to type means to input English is the most simplest language and what is the only reason? The reason why that is in an English we have only 26 characters available whereas if we'll try to say language like Marathi so in a Marathi in addition to that particular characters we have lot many things available like Kana, Matra, Velanti, Pahli Velanti, Dusri Velanti, Pahilau, Kar, Dusrau and what not. So idea is that that's why the reason this particular Marathi typing is the most tedious thing. Those who are from the computer background or those who are using computer, they must have got this idea that this typing of Marathi is a bit tedious task. Another, this particular difficulty getting improved because in Marathi, we just don't have a single keyboard just like that of an English. In an English, we are using QWERTY keyboard. Uh, a keyboard. And what is that QWERTY? If we try to see the top line of the particular character keys, so you have a characters like Q, W, E, R, T, Y, and that is common in all the keyboards, not only in a computer but also in your mobile. Just like very often we will try to say QWERTY keypad. Okay, so that is nothing but because that is the very first line up available on your particular keyboard, and it is the same for every mobile, every computer. That means doesn't matter you are trying to purchase a keyboard of 95 keys, 101 keys, 105 keys, you have that QWERTY keypad only. But what about Marathi? In a Marathi lot many number of keyboards are available. Just like Devanagiri keyboard is there, there is particular keyboard which is commonly used and that is a Godrej keyboard. You even Srilipi keyboards are also available. In addition to that and again various number of Marathi keyboards are available and very oftenly these particular typist peoples are also habituated with one single type of keyboard just like a particular person who is habituated with something Godrej keyboard and suppose he has been asked to type it on a Srilipi keyboard of course he is going to get disturbed and to avoid this type of difficulties only Google has introduced the very important tool and that is a Google input tool. Now what exactly that Google input tool is We'll try to start. So for that particular just like I have told you we just don't need to have any type of Gmail account. Okay so what I am making in my Google bar I am just typing Google input tools. Okay even you can write Marathi input also. Okay so I have written Google input tool. Okay and I will click on this particular Google input tools. Okay. So it is going to give me some features, your words, your language, anywhere and I'll try to click on this try it out. The moment I'll try to choose this particular try it out, I'm getting of course initially the particular keyboard and that is a obviously English keyboard and just like the thing I have said QWERTY keypad. 
okay q w e r q and it is common for all the particular english keywords okay now i'll try to choose the language and that is marathi you can see this input tool is available with this many languages and from that particular one i am going to choose something and that is marathi okay so i'll go i'll choose this language marathi the moment i click on this particular marathi now your particular google input tool is working for something and that is a marathi and now i am trying to start with my particular marathi okay so of course initially i am typing my name now please do see this thing carefully what i am making my name is rajesh so i am typing r a j e s h and you can see what i have typed i have typed something r a j e s h over here and it is showing me this particular two types of things rajesh first one rajesh which type of sure you would like to use okay so i'll try to choose click on this particular one okay i'll try to type my surname also b h o y a r bhoyer okay so it is bhoyer bhoyere what will be okay so idea that this way it is going to show me the particular thing okay similarly in this particular keyboard you can be able to what is what is the exact benefit of this input tool it is a phonetic okay that means you have to just type in the same way you are trying trying to say the things okay just like i'll try to say something kase ahat k a s e kase ahat a a h a t ahat ahet okay dara tumhala je kutla pahije so you have to choose that particular one so kase ahet suppose i have chosen this particular okay similarly if you have to type something complicated type of words like shri s h r i okay next one is a shikshan okay so this way you can be able to easily type the things okay okay with nyan okay so this way this way you can be able to type the english uh, the particular things in a marathi quite easily because this particular tool is a useful for you because most of the communication from the government side most of the grs are in a marathi and most of the times official communication is also carried out by using uh, marathi only just like i am talking regarding our university in our university most of the communication will be carried out by using marathi so at that time whenever you have to respond by using marathi it is a bit difficult to type the things so by using this particular type of google input keyboard you can type the things quite easily now i have completed my typing task what about what next how i can take this data from this particular place again in marathi the thing getting happen will be what about my font whether this font are available in others computer or not so you just don't have to bother okay once you have typed the thing you have to select the particular text control c i have copied the thing and what i am making i am trying to paste it somewhere into the word so i have straight away open into the word control v so you can see these particular things are available as it is you can do any type of formatting or whatever is being needed by you so suppose i'll need to increase the font of that i'll try to make it a bold okay i'll try to center so idea that any type of operation any type of processing you can be able to carry out with this text the better thing regarding this text is it is available in unicode what is that unicode it is universal code so idea is that this particular is universal code so you just don't have to bother regarding the font so this way you can make the use of this tool and that is a google input tool which is helpful for you because i have seen people those who are eager those who are um, asking their clerks just are yaar sir go do char line type karna hai so idea is that you just don't have to now bother regarding that you can type it out quite easily by using something and that is a google input tool so this is one of the simplest tool which is available using which you can provide input in in your particular computer so what of course you have to write you have to just say google input tool even you can say google input marathi google typing marathi so that way also you can be able to open just like i'll try to type it over here google marathi input marathi typing okay so that way also i am going to get the google input sadhne vaprun paha okay so i am clicking on that and you can see this is the particular thing we are getting so in this way you can choose this particular keyboard for taking for accepting any type of input from the user so i hope you have understood how to make a typing in marathi again i am saying it is a phonetic okay you just don't have to type it you have to type it in just in english it is going to get converted sometimes you might need to make some modification just like rajesh sh sh which type of sh you will need sh or sh so idea that at that time you have to do the modification okay so 
so this is the one tool i have i have available um, i have told you and that is regarding google input tool and that is for marathi another very important thing okay quite oftenly you might need to type lot many thing and of course our typing speed is suppose poor then what is the solution so again by using google you just don't need to type also that means now don't bother even if you just don't have a typing speed better so what you can choose now you just don't need to touch even a keyboard also okay without touching a keyboard you can be able to type the things and how that particular thing is possible we'll try to see okay but for that of course you will need to have a gmail account okay of course in the previous tool you just don't need to have a gmail account but in this particular case you will need to have something and that is a mm, mm, uh, google uh, account gmail account okay so i'll click on this particular account okay i'll go into the drive in the previous video we have seen drive so i'll click on that particular one of course it will ask you to log in if you are not logged in okay so idea is that in this particular case i have i have already logged in in my account so it is not asking me that so i'll click on something new okay the moment i'll click on new multiple options are available over here so within that i'll straight away move on to the google docs okay so google docs getting open before me now once this google doc getting open okay the next task for better understanding of the world it is a better to use something and that is a hands free so if you have hands free type of devices okay so i i hope headphone or hands free devices are ready or available with most of the users nowadays so i am using this particular now okay so by using this hands free device now it is possible for me to make my typing more simple okay so once we have used that type input tool the next task is we have to go we have open google doc and i have i'll go on to the tools so we have to click on this tools under this tool you have something and that is voice typing so i'll click on this voice typing okay and it is again saying click to speak okay so idea is that unless and until i'll click on this particular click to speak it won't type anything but the moment i'll type this I'll click on this particular click to speak okay it will continue the typing and now we'll try to check it out so again i'll repeat what we have performed we have opened google docs under that google docs i have clicked on tools under the tool we have a particular option and that is a voice typing okay there is also a shortcut for that control shift s okay so click on this particular google typing okay voice sorry tools voice typing okay and now i'll click on this one so that i can start my typing by clicking on this one so i'll click on this hello friends how are you i hope you are enjoying this workshop and in this particular week you will get lot of knowledge regarding various google tools provided by google in this particular session we'll learn we'll know how you can type the things without even touching the keyboard and this is the best feature provided by google i have i have typed all the thing okay and again i have clicked over here so with this much speed i can be able to talk and and most of the things of course so very minute changes you might need to make so this way you can make the thing okay now once you have made that okay again i will try to select all the particular thing control a okay control c i will copy it okay again i will try to place it onto the word okay so control v so this way everything getting typed so i hope this is another particular better tool which is available using which again it is so, saying you some of the facilities which are being provided you can say period and new line okay so idea that wherever you have to hit and enter you just don't need again to touch a keyboard it is saying that you have to just say new line so automatically your cursor will be transferred to the next line okay similarly wherever you have to put full stop you have to say period okay so idea that this way you can be able to use this important tool and that is a google input tool so i hope in this particular video you must have got somewhat brief idea regarding both this particular tool again first tool google input tool marathi does not needs to have a gmail account but if you would like to make the typing by using voice input so for that you will need something and that is that is you will need to have something gmail account
okay so thank you thank you very much